Hello, my name is Russell Wright. I'm from West Hill, which is just outside Aberdeen, and I'm 16. And this is my testimony. So, um, yeah, I was born and brought up in a Christian house. I've been going to church all my life, um, but I haven't been a Christian all my life. I, uh, I was going to camps from as early as I could, and I was going to Comrie with Dane Jones, who's an absolute legend. And uh, yeah, I'd often find I'd go to camp and I'd have this spiritual boost. I'd be really enthusiastic and uh, motivated to change my life. Um, but I found myself a couple of weeks after camp just living as I always did. Um, you know, not, not neglecting my Bible, not really reading my Bible. Um, and just not really making any time for God. Um, so yeah, um, that went on for a couple of years. And then I went to West Street Junior 2 for the first time. Um, and in dorm discussion... Um, God made me realise that being a Christian isn't a camp thing, it's not a Sunday thing, it's 24-7, um, living every day, um, every day for him. And after that realisation, um, you know, over the next couple of years is kind of when I became a Christian. Um, it's hard for me to explain because it wasn't a certain time or it wasn't like everything clicked and I became a Christian, it was... Um, this kind of period, this period of time. Um, so yeah, God, God used loads of things uh, during that time to help me. Um, camps being a major one, and all the camp, all the all the friends I met from camp, um, and family, and church, and prayer, and reading my Bible, and and kind of seeking after God, and. Um, yeah, God, God took me to that point where I was, I was ready to put my trust in in Jesus. And um, yeah, um, looking back on it, uh, my biggest mistake was definitely thinking that um, that all my sins, that all my uh, difficulties and um, problems would just go away, because they didn't. And I was really confused after I became a Christian because I was like, look, I'm a Christian now, but I still sin. And um, I, I still find these trials in my life. Um, you know, surely if God loves me, then these things wouldn't be there. Um, so yeah, I, I always struggled, particularly with my sin. Um, but God, um, time and time again, has reminded me that uh, Jesus has dealt with it, that... Um, through his death and resurrection that my sin's been taken away from me and um, God no longer sees me as a as a sinner but as his child and uh, that's such an amazing thought and some, something that I base that off um, is from Psalm 103 and um, it says this he does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities for as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. And that's such a great reminder for me when I'm uh, feeling guilty about my sin. Um, or, uh, yeah, that just that, uh, that Jesus has taken it away from me, and, um, that my sin's been dealt with. And yeah, with the trials, um, you know, they are still there. Um, but I've come to learn that, you know, often um, God will teach us um, really important things through the trials, and uh, they're always an opportunity to trust Him that uh, that He works all things together for the good of those who love Him. And um, yeah, that's about it. So thank you for listening. And, uh, yeah.